How's it going guys? Ace J here and we are doing Feature Friday where I will be featuring an artist who is not me. Featuring Demiurge.customs on Instagram. So if you'd like to order some work from her, you could check her out. Again, that's on Instagram at Demiurge.customs. And Robin is very talented. I'll be showing you her work right now. We'll go step by step and we can see how she made these Bape Air Max 90s with stenciling and also freehanding. So usually you always want to remove the laces. It really does depend on the design you're doing. And then next you will remove the factory finish. So you remove that waxy factory finish so then the paint can properly adhere to the shoe. You can use acetone from a hardware store. You can use acetone that's found in nail polish remover, or you can also purchase a deglazer. So after your shoes are fully prepped, you can go ahead and begin painting. So keep in mind that you need to use a leather paint for this. You can't just use a craft store paint, it will crack. So leather paints are made specifically for leather shoes. And there are a lot of different brands depending on where you live. So she's in the UK, there's different brands locally for her. There's also Angelus and Alpha 6 Corporation. There's also Jacquard. So I actually have a link below if you wanna check out Alpha 6 and check out their Alpha Flex paints. They're very opaque. As you're painting, you don't wanna to have to do a ton of different layers. If you do too many layers, it can crack. And if you don't do enough layers, you won't have that full coverage that you need on the shoes. So I personally would recommend try different brands of paint and see which one works best for your needs. So it looks like Robin only did about two coats, so that's ideal. I would never recommend doing more than four coats. Again, if you do too many coats of paint, it can crack. And if you wanna set yourself apart as a customizer, definitely paint those edges. So take your time, go in with a very fine paintbrush and paint the edges. So on the midsole, she placed a stencil. It's a shark tooth stencil. And then she's gonna paint over top of it with red and then carefully remove it. If you don't want to use stencils, you can freehand all of this. Robin actually used stencils on one shoe and then she freehanded the other shoe. It was a time factor, but it's really up to you on what you feel comfortable with. If you prefer using stencils, do that. If you prefer freehanding everything, do that. I've been customizing for almost 10 years and the first few years I decided that I was not going to use stencils. I had the mentality that using stencils is cheating. So I didn't want to do that. And I just freehanded everything. So I was doing a lot of freehand for logo work. And eventually I decided, hey, I'm going to see how using stencils works. And it saves so much time. So. I pretty much now view it as you do what works best for you, but in my personal opinion, it saves a ton of time and your clients, at least most of them, do not care if you use stencils or if you freehand everything. Your clients just want work that looks absolutely perfect. So here you can see Robin's freehanding all of this. That's totally fine. That's what she wants to do. That's what she feels comfortable with. The BAPE design is really abstract. So actually just freehanding everything, it works really well. However, if you're not completely comfortable in your artistic skills, or this is you know your first pair, second pair, you're not used to the artistry of it, go ahead and use stencils. See how comfortable you are with them. If you'd like to purchase your own pair, you can go ahead and contact Demiurge.customs on Instagram.
So the shoes have been sealed, but let me know what you think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Go ahead, drop a comment below. Huge thank you to Robin for submitting these videos. So every Friday, I'm going to try to do a new video with a new artist or possibly the same artist if I feel like their content is informative and educational. And if you're wondering why in the world am I featuring another artist when I should be featuring myself? Well, number one, small artists really need help. So I think it's good to definitely help advertise other people. We shouldn't be competing against each other. We're all on the same team. We all want the same goal. So that's the main thing. But also I'm expecting, so I can't really be customizing at this time. But anyways, guys, yeah, if you're interested in learning how your video can be featured, you can check out all the information below. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your support.